What's up, Wasteland? <laughs> It's Upbeat Data coming at you from the wasteland that is my office. Just kidding. Uh, actually, the slog is where we will be today. Um, sorry for the black screen. I am using something called OBS Studios, which is different than the normal Streamlabs that I use. So there will be black screen for a minute while I get things set up. So let's get everything set up and we will go from there. If the internet works this evening, um, I will have a stream. If the internet does not work, I will um, cease streaming and um, we will go from there. What's up, Easy Fallout? Welcome to the stream. Let me know if you can hear me and see everything okay. Um, if we run into any issues this evening, I will... Uh, what's up, fellow Vault Dweller? I will um, cease streaming until... Um, I could get my internet issues sorted out, so we'll just see how it goes. Um, I ordered something called a load balancer that might be able to hook up two internets to one thing. I don't know. It's just a whole big thing, trying to stream when you have crappy internet. So, um, yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. So here we are. We are in the slog. And um, sadly, I had a little kitty and a little doggy here, and a death claw came and killed my kitty and doggy. And I'm very sad about that. And so now I don't want to put them back because I'm afraid if I put them back, it's just going to happen again. Oh, am I that loud? <laughs> I can lower the mic setting. Hang on. Is that mic setting better? All right, let me know if I was too loud and if the mic is better now. If it is not better, um, I could try to lower it again. Oh no, the death claw's already dead. Yeah, I already disabled it. It's dead and gone. All right, so um, I was going to work on this guard shack a little bit, just putting some trim around it, to be honest, because I think it looks a little weird on the sides. Tell me if you think it looks a little weird from back here. Um, what's up, M Hawk? How is your day? Uh, is that better though? Seriously, am I not killing? I don't want to kill anybody's ears with my voice, which tends to happen. So <laughs> sometimes it just happens. Um, what might have some end caps? Uh, walls, trims. No, we don't really need trims that look like that or that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find anything that works with this building. I was just thinking something to go, like, right down there. I just thought it looked a little weird, just without trim. So I've been trying for, like, two days to get this guy to sit at this desk. And finally, as soon as I go to stream, he's sitting at the damn desk. So, um, awesome fellow vault dweller. Um, I'm glad things are working. And hopefully, knock on wood, they stay that way. Uh, for the remainder of the stream. We will see what happens. Um, so I've pretty much shown everything going on in the slog. Um, I do need go. to do something with this area in here. So if anybody has any ideas. I mean, it's kind of fine the way it is. Um, oh, I do have somebody unassigned. These fungal plants keep, like, disappearing. I don't know. I've got to replace those. Let me go into... Look, I can't even click on them. Mushroom planner. So yeah, there's there was purple mushrooms there that have since disappeared, so let me delete that. And go back and re-download them, or replace them. But I'm glad they could hear me in North Oklahoma. That is very good. Um, oh, well, I'm there, toggle god mode. My day was well. Um, well, I work at Sundance Square. That answers your question. I do not know where Sundance Square is. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, what is that in better stores, I think, is where our fungi are. Decorations, better stores. Uh, resources, food. Nope. Greenhouse. Mycology. Yes, there's blue ones and purple ones. For some reason, they just, like, disappeared. I had them here. 
and then they were just gone. And I really like them because they put off blue and purple light. Oh, that's a purple one right there, I think. What's up, DOG? What's up, Dwarf? Welcome, everybody. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Um, I will stream if the stream cooperates, and if the stream ceases to cooperate, I will cease to stream. So that is just how today is going to go. <laughs> and I'm going to see if I can find somebody to assign to these uh, fungal plants. And I think I have somebody upstairs. Let me check inside. I think there's somebody that I had that was doing nothing. New Zealand can hear me loud and clear also. Does that mean I'm still too loud? <laughs> I've actually moved away from the mic a little bit. Uh, I'm just looking for this one chick. Yeah, there you go. Unassigned settler. You are now going to be assigned. You're going to work on the shrooms. So, Dwarf, how's your day as well? How's your building going? All right. So the resource is now assigned. All right, let's see here. Um, what to do, what to do. So um, what do we need to do to finish this place up? So question, does anybody think that we need like some seating on this side over here? Um, should I put chairs there? Perfect volume for your old ears. I think that means I'm loud. <laughs> I could turn it down a little more. They're just messing with me. Well, I turned it down anyway. So does this area here need some seating as well? Um, just me trying to decide how finished up the slog is and what still needs work. Um, I think Creative Gardens had some seating. That was a maybe. But I kind of don't mind the open look, like in front of the store. So, I don't know. I don't know if I want to put seating on that side as well. Lawn chairs, I think, would work. Um, we could see what some lawn chairs look like. Um, let's see. Creative Clutter has lawn chairs, I believe, in outdoor. Put some of these guys. I feel like they need to match. You know what? I'm going to put a variety of chairs and then y'all can tell me what you think are the best chairs. I haven't had a chance to do any building at all today. I've had appointments this morning and game-wise I'm currently trying to track down star cores in Nuka World. Oh, have fun with that, door. Maybe just a long brick raised flower bed. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Um, a raised flower bed uh, in that area. I'm going to put some seating options and then some raised flower bed and we'll just see what looks best. Uh, where's it gonna go? SOE. Do, do, do. Seating. Got chairs that look like these. I like those white chairs. Those are pretty nice looking. Um, we've got these darker chairs. This is just how chairs need to go in my head. I don't know if this is from like years of torment at Pro Pottery Barn many years ago. Um, uh, we could also put benches, potentially. Oh, here's a lawn chair. Alright, and then let's also put... Watch out, I'm gonna fall in the pool again. Let's also put a potted plant or two. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> She's in the pool, folks. Console commands and fook it. <laughs> Dorf, that's funny. I'm also looking for the star cores in Nuka World. Console commands. I did not console command that one. Um, actually, we're gonna scrap the these chairs. I'm not sure that I like them anyway, but um, And let's see what a raised flower bed would look like there Well y'all sound like you are doing fabulous out there in the wasteland, which I love to see um, Everybody seems to be in good spirits and having a good day for the most part uh, so, like, I could put one of these suckers. We could put a few of these over here. Oh, let's watch the flowers fill in. How pretty! Pretty, pretty, pretty. 
You know, I really like the idea of doing maybe two flower beds with some chairs in between. And I think I'm liking these white chairs. What do you guys think about the chair selection? White chairs and maybe some little white tables in between them. That way people can get their pot and smoke it. And smoke it next to the flower beds. Um, yeah, I think I'm liking those chairs the best. If anybody has a really um, serious feeling on any specific chair, let me know. Um, but let's put one more of these guys. And let's watch the pretty flowers fill in. Ooh la la. I think that's a really good idea, DOG. Furniture, back to these seats. I think I could turn snapping back on for these. So, easy fallout. How about you? You build anything new lately? Alright, so we got some chairs interspersed with some uh, floral arrangements. Let me see if I can find something I could use, because I feel like the chairs need like a little table in between them, huh? I'm 34 out of 35 cor cores. benches and let's see if we have a little white bench yay we do yay it's the little things in life just the little things that make me happy finding a matching bench y'all it was so sad putting the puppy in his crate just now he gave me the saddest looking little face oh labs i'm telling you they make such sad little faces sad little faces Stop playing and everything. Alright, um, now what to put on those? Should I put another set of chairs right here or is two enough? Let's see what it looks like from the balcony because that's my favorite thing to do. Uh, I built something in 76 last week. What'd you build in 76? Oh yeah, that looks really nice on that right hand side. Look at the slog. It is no longer sloggy. I guess I'll just put a couple of drinks on that those tables. I think I do need to flip that one around there. Do, do, do. I feel like you need to have this other side showing. And then we will put some drinks on the tables. And I thought I just saw a stutter. I tell you, if the internet goes out, that's it for streaming for today, so we'll just see what happens. Um, I am not going to fight with it like I did yesterday. I think one of these is lemonade. What is that? Deezer's lemonade. Somebody's sitting here drinking some lemonade. That looks really good right there. Thank you! Thanks to DOG for the suggestion. Thank you everybody for your suggestions. I built a medieval Roman-style townhouse that goes with my archer build. Nice! I can't believe that I actually have, like, an almost finished settlement. I think this is the only- oh no, I, I pretty much finished Nordhagen Beach, so I guess that that's my other finished settlement. Place looks really nice so far. Thank you guys! Thank you so much! I tried. I really did try. I wanted a very pretty and classy slog. Um, what am I looking for now? Shoot. I just completely forgot what I was doing in the middle of doing it. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh yeah, I was going into V's. I think we need a couple of martini glasses. I think someone's sipping a martini right here. trying to like watch the stream out of the corner of my eye to see if it's going to be a repeat of yesterday. Alright, 
we got a glass there, and then let's just put a regular old glass over here. And let's make it gold, since you can see so you can see it. All right, we got our stores completed. We got our dispensary completed. I'm um, sorry, our brewery. Um, everything's good here. Good here. This needs a door put on. Let's see what our door options are. A very good idea. Uh, what was I looking for? Nope. Uh, structures. Fluid metal, brick, barn, warehouse, scaffolding, industrial doors. Uh, no. Who's got fancy doors? Or should, do I just need to go into my mods? Now, I'm just looking for, like, the pretty doors. I was in... What was it? Homemaker I was in that had pretty doors? Oh, someplace. A stained glass door for the dispensary. Oh, stained glass is a very nice idea. Let's see if we can find something that looks pretty. What's up, bro? Way to stare me down. Dude, that was creepy. Uh, let's see what we got that's, like, greenish. Well, everything looks kind of green because of my green background colors. Ooh, that's groovy, dude. We'll give that a maybe. We'll see if anything else looks cool as well. I don't know if they have, like, a solid green one. It'd be cool if they did. Um, obviously, the stained glass isn't going to have a solid green one. But if they have something like this blue only in green, that'd be cool. Seems like they have everything but green. This one seems maybe a little bit more greenish. Alright, these are the two that I thought looked the best, but you guys could let me know if you think otherwise. Um, yeah. Far out, man. I think out of the two of these, this one's got more greenery in it, but this one's a little bit lighter. You really need to see how it looks at night, because everything only lights up at night, so... Stained glass looks okay. Um, not great, not terrible. Um, I think it's mediocre. The left one of the two choices is your favorite. Okay, I think that's the one that I chose. So good. I'm glad that I chose your favorite. <laughs> or a green light inside. Um, I did make the walls green. You think it needs a green light as well? Um, we could throw a green light Why in there and see what it looks like. A great leader. More, more ghouls staring me down. Jeez, yo. Y'all are freaking me out. I just looked and it doesn't for me for some reason. Yeah, that looks groovy. <laughs> it looks groovy, dude. Um, power. Lights. Mods. Colorful green light. That actually just makes everything in here look greener. So I actually kind of like it. Makes the walls look greener. So that actually kind of works. I don't really like the way that it's hanging down. I think it looks a little silly, but it does work. I have to fix this Y in dispensary. 
What's up, Swank Fiber? Welcome. Um, one of these buttons moves things back. Is that moving it back? Can anybody tell? Or is it just moving it up? Oh no, that made it smaller. Did one of those buttons move it back? Hopefully it did. I needed to fix the Y on dispensary. I think it's fixed. But yeah, I do like how the green light made everything look greener in there. The door should open in. Sorry, door direction is important to me, like the toilet paper facing the right way. <laughs> we can have the door open to the inside. I could always hide the light in something. I could. You know what we could do? We could move it straight up. And just have it stick out of the ceiling like that. Boop. Nobody has to know. You can barely notice it. And we'll flip the door the other way. Oh no, because then it's going to open into the wrong side. And I'm not going to like that, D.O.G. No, see, it can't open that way. Because then that blocks the cash register. If it opened into the right, I'd be okay with it. But because it doesn't, I'm, I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> this door specifically opens out. Sorry, sorry, I just can't have it open in facing that way. Oh, I love the green light making everything greener inside. Everything's oh, yeah. greener in the greenery. Whoa, what's up, dude? Where the hell did you come from? Alright, so we've got those on that side, those on that side. We've got the guard station. What are y'all looking up at? It's just weird. I tell you, the stuff they have the settlers do, man. I, to live in Diamond City. I put this over here. I don't know if it makes sense. What do y'all think of the clothesline in the bucket? There's another door. Can you hide the green light in the light you already had in the dispensary? They make them left and right just for weirdos like me and Dorf. <laughs> I will go back and look for it later. Um, so yeah, I suppose I will keep that. Um, I suppose I'll keep everything else up here. I will not put the doggy back because I don't want to see a little doggy massacre again when the death claws come. Um, we've got our guard and our guard station. Um, we have our turrets out front and our front door. We have this thing over here, which I just like for some reason, and so it's just going to be part of the slog. I know that it doesn't really fit per se, but it doesn't not fit. Um, clothesline is a cool touch. Thank you. Um, the clothesline is an out where the uh, in and out of the way place is a good idea. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, I just like this thing here. And then I put a little water well because I thought the water well was so cute. Sometimes stuff is just too cute for me not to place somewhere. Um, and then I put the Brahmin in a little pen out behind the dispensary. I don't know why I think they hang out there. They just do. And so that's pretty much it for the outside. So I think the outside is a wrap um, other than some minor decorating. Um, upstairs on the inside, I put two more rooms because I now have 14 people. I turned off the um, beacon. But I now have 14 people, and I had beds up here, and I really don't want beds up here. So now I have 14 people, 14 beds. So I made these two rooms, so I'm just going to decorate those guys real quick. Um, throw some stuff in there, and then I have to finish decorating this one room. Um, not my favorite room I've ever done. I think it's the purple curtains throwing me off. But whatever. It's, it's a room and it's decorated, so I'm not really changing it now. Uh, let's go to a static object decorator. I keep wanting to call that OC decorator because I don't have my OC decorator. Let's give these people some drinks by their bedside because I think everybody in this game is a bunch of alcoholics. Bleep. You got your beer and your cigarettes. You've got your beer and your book. 
and maybe somebody has a Nuka Cola. We'll, we'll make one person not an alcoholic. Whoever, whoever's Nuka Cola is sitting up here. Maybe we'll give them a Nuka Cola too. Here, you can have a Quantum. You can be fancy. Um, other than that, maybe a poster above that bed. Let's see. Uh, decorations, lamps, and some frames, wall paintings, rectangular. I do really like this one. Um, let me go into. Look at that! My internet's held for like 25 minutes. Everybody, knock on wood consecutively, please. Um, I'm very excited about this. Uh, let's see where is that gonna go? Decorations. Pictures, paintings. Cause I do. I am okay with that one painting that I think might look nice there. This one. This is one of my favorites in the game. Again, it doesn't doesn't always have to make sense. I didn't say that it made sense there, but it does look nice there. Um, let me give them some crap underneath their beds. Shh, don't talk about it. I won't, DOG. It's listening. <laughs> it's listening. It can hear me. It's like a monster. It's like a freaking death claw. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know what? CVC had some containers that I saw that I was going to check out next time I did a stream. Uh, decorations. No, 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 no. Vault boxes, boxes. No, but they did have some containers. I don't remember where they were. Because, as usual, I don't remember where things are. Oh, it was under here. Falander. Containers. Yeah, like, what is that? Some sort of random army container? That? Somebody's getting that one. Because I've never used it before. Random backpack? Hell yeah. You can have a random backpack right here. CVC crate. Another CVC crate. This could go at the end of your bed. Finally, like, some different crates to put at the end of their bed so they're not all exactly the freaking same. Uh, what is that, an ice chest? I don't think we need an ice chest. A little weapons box that could go under this one's bed next to their comic books. That's about it for the chests. I don't think I want to use this one. Eh, I guess I could. Nah, it's kind of ugly. I'll go back to the regular ones. Interesting looking radios, though. I probably could have used one of those instead of that one. See, this radio, though, is very, like, 80s. It doesn't belong in the 50s theme. I watched a video the other day with a bunch of mixed drinks made with Nuka-Cola. <laughs> nice. I have one Nuka Cola recipe to get for the full set. I just have to go to Hubologist, Hubologist, Huboologist to get it, a camp to get it. All right, so I think I'm gonna call this room done. Is it done? No, like still, they could still fit some stuff under their beds, folks. They can't be done until the under the beds are full. I accidentally killed the Hubologist when I went into the spacecraft. <laughs> Uh, where am I going? Decorations, WDP. Vendors, clothes, food and drink, garage, garden, graves, interrogation, living quarters. Yeah, more crap for under the bed. Woohoo! It's little things in life. It's little things in life. Like, under the bed storage. Makes me happy. Them having their random boxes of crap. Because it's the only thing I feel like really makes it feel like the wasteland when everything's decorated so pretty. Uh, you could have a box. You get a box. You get a box. Everybody gets a box. There you go. 
there's even more Nuka Cola in there for you, buddy. It seems to be the conclusion to the side quest. I have killed the Huval just numerous times when they want their spacecraft started up. Bed was just the slightest bit off center. I think it's better now. Uh, you know what? They need a suitcase. That one needs a suitcase under the bed, and then I think it'll be done. Uh, let me see if there's anything else that I want to put under the bed first. Uh, I think I have a box full of stuff on this side, yeah. So, two suitcases. Suitcases for everyone. Looks lived in when it's decorated like this. I agree, easy fallout. There's no room for a monster under the bed. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> no monsters. No monsters. No. Go. And they actually do have monsters. They've got freaking death claws. You don't want death claws under your bed. It's no, not cool, man. Not cool. All right. I think this room looks pretty lived in, uh, except for this wall right here. Dang it! That wall is like empty AF. And dirty magazines. <laughs> That's how you know the decorating is on point easy. When it looks lived in, you have succeeded. I agree, dwarf. I agree it needs to look lived in. Because our settlers do live here. It's their homes. What do we think? I'll just throw a shelf on that wall, I think. Um, we've got this one. I think I'll do another metal shelf. Furniture, do it yourself! Do it yourself! Man, I'm not- I don't even have any songs stuck in my head today. I've got- I've got no way to torture you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> normally. Normally I have something stuck in my head. I think today was a long day. I think I just don't want to admit it to myself that it was a long day. Here's a question for those who have played through Nuka World. Deathclaw or Gatorclaw for the worst? Um, Deathclaw or Gatorclaw? Um... I don't know. I always played on easy, so I am not the best person to ask. Because <laughs> when you play on easy, everything's, you know, easy. Let's put some of these up there. Some power armor helmets. I think death claws are more tanky. I think you have clothing and OC deco you put on a better too. Um, DOG, I do not have OC de decorator. Um, for some reason, one of my mods kicked OC decorator out. So um, I have it on my laptop, but I do not have it on my PC. And I'll have to look into why. It will probably involve me uninstalling and reinstalling all of my mods. Which I am very much not looking forward to doing. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's give him a trash can, too. While we're here, have a trash can. Just because I feel like it needs something else in that corner. Alright. Lived in. Lived in. Done, done, and done. Uh, two more rooms. 
Man, I was hoping to finish up the slog sometime soon, but things just keep coming up. And I think I'm going to take out this wall while I decorate in there, so that way it gives me a little bit more room. Uh, DOG, probably just load order. Um, I will have to talk to you at some point and we will figure out what the load order problem is. Because that could be the case. It could very well be the case. Um, but I have no freaking clue. Um, unfortunately, I'm useless when it comes to load order stuff. I don't think I've used this one yet in this house. Or have I? I know I haven't used this one yet. And then there's this one. You know what? I'll use that one in the other room. You could be the one with the bottle of whiskey. Maybe you have a table in there too. Could I actually make that fit? Nah, I think it's gonna be too big in that room. Yeah, those Yugi's are hit hard. How do you actually pronounce that? Yogi, 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 Yogi Bears? Yogi. Um, what decorations do we want to go with? Maybe we'll go with a random Boston painting. Random church painting for the win. Is that a church? Looks like a church. I think it's a church. It's me. Hi. Oh, there we go. I got a song. See, I could always, I could always conjure one up from, from the depths. Uh, do, 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 furniture containers again. And you will just have a little trunk at the end of your bed. It's hard to tell sometimes which way is front on these things. I think that's gonna be it for your room, buddy. <laughs> Maybe one thing under the bed. Go back. Don't you know your home? Go into your home. Ugh, I hate when they when you move things and then they don't listen and go back where you had them. Just snap into place. Come on, you know you want to. It's working in like such a small area too. Man, nothing's snapping the way it needs to. Jeez. my god, for real. <laughs> this did not do this to me earlier today. It, uh, they actually all snapped where they're supposed to go. Struggle there for a minute, folks. Uh, auto wall clipping drives me nuts. I always want to call them Mogwai. <laughs> you can call them Mogwai. <laughs> Mogwai. Yugi Mogwai. Yugi Yawai. All right, that's all that they can fit in their room. Oh, maybe they can fit one more thing. Let's give them one more little do-it-yourself. Actually, they can get a container under the bed. I don't want you to feel left out, buddy. Here you go. Here's your suitcase. Whoop. 
Whoopsie. Well, now there's two suitcases under the bed. You just can't see one of them. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Uh, do, do, do. do it yourself. Attic shelves. They do need a gremlins mod. God help us if they changed into bear-sized gremlins. <laughs> don't get them wet after midnight. Or no, don't feed them after midnight and don't get them wet in general. I think it's don't feed them after midnight, right? And just don't get them wet in general. That's what, At least that's what I think it is. That's what I'm telling myself. Uh, let's do some half bathroom clutter. This is where you keep your towels, and let's have this be where you keep your... Hey, you can keep a few books. Or maybe just some storage crap. Where's the storage crap? Let's store some crap there. And what else? Store some crap up there. There we go. Good job storing your crap, buddy. I think that room is done. We can put a door on it. Could just do a texture swap on a death claw. <laughs> well, somebody's got to put it out there now that we need that mod now. Tiki the Hut, upbeat's out of the first episode of Fallout Friday podcast drops this Friday. Look forward to having you on as a guest one day. Your settlement builds are awesome. How are you liking New Vegas? Oh, thank you so much. Um, towels, but no drug shelf. Zero out of ten would raid out of spite. Um, Tiki the Hut, I will absolutely check that out. And yes, I will definitely um, be happy to be a guest. Um, hop on my Discord. You can reach me there um, on the Discord. And how am I liking New Vegas? New Vegas is a lot of fun. Um, it's very interesting. It's very different. It's also very hard to play a game for the first time on live stream so it's it's hard to know how I like it because I feel like so I don't know I don't know what the term for it is um there's like so much pressure I guess um so I don't know but yeah I'm liking it very much oopsie where did I just put that door shoot Come down here. How'd you get up there? <laughs> now these doors, well, this specific door can open inwards, but the rest of them I have opening outwards because they can't open inwards into the rooms. Yes, Tiki the Hut, please share for everybody where they could find this podcast. Sounds like a lot of fun. Fallout Friday is always fun. Sorry if I just blew anybody's ears out. My bad. My bad. This one's just going to get a blue um, suitcase because I feel like it. I don't know what, what my situation is with the blue stuff today. You know what? Maybe they're going to get two of them. We've got two blue rooms. Um, what else? Um, actually, I don't know if I like it with two of those underneath there. Whoopsie. put one of these over here, but that might be a cute thing to just have sitting over in the corner. 
another place for them to keep stuff. I wonder if they have one of those in do-it-yourself. I don't think they do. No, because if they did, I would have used it much more often. Yeah, they just have these two from that set. I'm going to have to manually put things in there. Um, House of Leaves, welcome! Hell yeah, you could always put a duffel bag under the bed as a point of difference. Yes, yes I could. Yes I could! Um, let's go back to the duffel bags. Let's see what our duffel bag options were. That was in... Furniture... Containers... Mods... We can use a black duffel bag. We can be different. Great, now I can't get to the suitcase. All right, duffel bag's just going under there. I'll fix it later. Um, House of Leaves, is this a house or like a motel? Sorry, I just joined. House of Leaves, you are welcome. And um, he, no, this is a house. So this is the mansion at the slog. Um, I will gladly show you because I like to show off my mansion because I just love it. So this used to be that little slog house, and so I tore down the whole thing um, and put up this. Uh, I call it a mansion. I mean, I, if I owned that, I would think of it as a mansion. It's got like, what, six bedrooms or something? Um, and so yeah, you come inside and you got a bathroom down there. We've got everyone's bedrooms chilling. And so this is where all of the sloggy people live. And that's the dining room and kitchen. And we are upstairs, and I just finished decorating this room here. And then this room is decorated as well. And so now I'm just putting some of the finishing touches on... You're still standing there, lady. That's weird. Um, putting some of the uh, finishing touches on um, this last room. And then I will have 14 beds for 14 people. And um, what else? I'm going to try to figure out how to glitch some stuff under there. What should I glitch under that little um, in there? That's the link. Sorry about that. Should drop in about noon, estimated on Friday. Ghouls are living better than me. <laughs> the ghouls are living the good life. Um, it's because they make wine and grow weed. So um, I guess that that's the um, recommendation that I'm throwing out there for the good life. <laughs> Uh, I wish it was, but no, I actually don't recommend that. Feel free to make wine, um, but I live in Texas where I don't think weed's legal, so I can't recommend that. Um, it looks so good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the compliment. That's incredibly kind. I'm just, just trying to make a humble little home. Humble little home. No, actually, I'm not trying to make a humble little home. I'm trying to make a mansion. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> All right, let's see if I'm going to be able to snap these in there somehow. Do I have snapping off? Ugh. I'm going to make it happen. Um, hey, DOG, what is the key to make this go backwards? What button do I need to hit on my keypad if DOG is still watching? That looks like it's moving backwards. Whoopsie. But it's not moving like directly backwards, which is weird. Eh, whatever, it works. Looks like there's stuff under there. It doesn't really look too much like there's stuff coming out the side. How do I move it over the other direction? One is to shrink it, two is to enlarge it. Oh, 
Oh, yay. Look at that. Now that I have these little buttons on my keypad, or now that I have a keypad, I could put stuff in there. Um, something on the wall and a wardrobe. Yes, let's give them a wardrobe. Let's go to creative clutter. Let's give them a creative clutter wardrobe. Need to be looking at it straight. Seven is towards the player. Okay. And you need to be looking at it straight on to get it to move away from you. Gotcha. Rooms, bedrooms, beds, clutter, tables and shelves. How about one of these wardrobes? Because I haven't used these in any of the rooms, so. Wow, that's pretty damn straight. I actually don't think I want to mess with it. Alright, we got a wardrobe and they just need some pictures on the walls. And then that will be another completed room. Uh, let's go into V's decor. Um, maybe we'll put some birds on the wall. Some birds. Let's put on some burbs. Books, decorations, art. You know what? I never used that one bird picture, this one, and it actually would go in this room. Mostly I don't use it because it's kind of fugly, but... It sort of matches in this room. Uh, I don't know. What do we think? Keep the bird? 86 the bird? Uh, what mod did you download for the mansion? Um, House of Leaves. It is, um, uh, Snappy Builds. Nope, Snap and Build is the mansion. Uh, it's this mod right here. Uh, go into structures and go over... Um, it is called snap and build snap apostrophe and build and then this here is real estate right here And that's the house that you can build that mansion out of And then I used um, snappy builds to put the little columns on the walls So that was one other one All right Beautiful um, maybe one more picture on the wall. Are we keeping the bird? People seem to like the bird. Oh, I need to download it. Yes, House of Leaves, definitely download it. No problem. You are very welcome. Yes, yeah, Snappy Builds and Snap and Build are two very popular, uh, mods for, for building houses. Um, abstract painting, maybe? Something with a decent amount of blue in it. If I can get it to snap to that wall. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, wait. It's a bunch of kidney beans. Alright, I think it's another room done. Oh, you know what? They need a drink. Do they have a drink? They've got some whiskey or bourbon or something down there, but they need they need something on their bedside. Need a drink. You just you just have to have that beer available to you. It's it's tough times. I'm simultaneously happy with comment and mad about it. <laughs> like the house, some might think those pictures look foul. <laughs> yes, um, sure does. Sure does look a little foul. Okay, so um, that chick's still standing there. It's weird. Um, I need to decorate this and put a picture in front of it. Let's put a picture. So we are at 54 minutes, so I'll probably go like another 20 minutes or so. Um, 
just an FYI, um, and hopefully the stream cooperates. If the stream doesn't cooperate, then it's been nice. Um, I've had a fun evening with y'all. But hopefully it cooperates for another 20 minutes. Yeah, that one's a little big. Let's go with traditional frame. Nine. Yeah, that one kind of matches. I don't know what's my deal with just putting pictures over tables and then decorating the tables. That's just how I think people live. Let's see what I want to put on this table. Um, let's go to V is stylish. Let's put a few books. Nope, those books are too big. Nope, those books are too big as well. Actually, I could resize them. I can make the books messy. make sense there. Um, let me go into Kuro tab and use their books. Books! Yeah, these nice monotone looking books I think should work just fine and then I'll just shrink them down. And it's not drawing a lot of color away. Uh, shrink. Shrink. Thanks, Dwarf. I'm gonna need it. Um, Bella Volta. Hey, everybody. I'm sorry, but my phone's gonna die. Aw, uh, take care. See you next time. You'll be missed. Sorry that your phone's gonna die. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. And then let's go back to V's. Stylish decor. And put some plants, maybe? Greenhouse. I want some not too colorful plants. I like these ones because they're not like overwhelmingly colorful. I think I'll shrink that down too. And then what do we want to put on the other side of it? Maybe like that little angel. What is it? In creative clutter, that little angel? Starcore respawn in the warehouse adjacent to the junkyard. I need to take a shower, but there's a cute cat in my lap. What do I do? Oh, you pet the cute cat. Um, you never, never get up when there's a cute cat in your lap. Job is to pet the cat. Um, decorations, creative clutter, bedroom. Nope, not bedroom, living room. Clutter. Thinking about shrinking down this little angel statue right here. And now it's a bookend. All right, I think that's just fine there. So we've got a little table decorated. So I think the inside, um, you sit very still is what you do. <laughs> um, all right, so rooms completed. Yes, 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 for the most part. And yes as well. This one needs a door. I don't know why I'm closing all these doors, like they're not just gonna open them. This 
one have a door on it? No, not yet. Okay, good. Yeah, I know it's annoying having them all open out, but unfortunately, it's just how it's gotta be. Just how it's gotta be. Um, okay, so next will be, all right, so this, let's talk about this area here, this little U-shaped area. Um, what are we thinking that that is going to be? So we have this little area here, this little area back here. I mean, I guess I could put just chairs. Okay, I'm going to wander off myself, try and get some gaming in this afternoon. Hope you enjoy the rest of the stream. Catch everyone next time. Thank you so much, Dwarf. It's been real. Um, I hope that you have a great time building and gaming and that everything goes excellent. And thank you for stopping by. Um, yes, House of Leaves, there is a bathroom downstairs. Um, unfortunately, for all these 14 people, they share one bathroom. <laughs> I can show you the bathroom if you'd like. Um, it is over in the corner here. And they've got their toilet, their bathtub, whatever their little ghoul hearts need. And so, yep. I like to open the doors and then install them, allow me to place doors in any orientation. Sounds like my dorm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One bathroom, 14 people. Um, so yeah, I guess just ponder on what we might put here. Um, upstairs is going to be a game slash workout room. So I've already put the pool table. I started putting some exercise equipment. Um, why, is, why not a gallery there? Sharon Muller, welcome. Um, why not a gallery where? Um, but welcome to the stream. Um, oh, you mean like uh, all like putting pictures around this area where people could just walk through and look at the pictures. That's a very interesting idea. Yeah, let's just put some pictures up on the wall and see how it starts looking. Um, what do we think? Abstract paintings? I'll try to use some ones that I haven't really used yet. I haven't really used this one. I don't think I've used that one. Actually, that one doesn't look familiar to me at all. I feel like that's a like brand new one to me. Yeah, that's a really good idea, Sharon. You know what? Let's put these two tree ones over here. That way they both kind of make sense together. And then I'll put two, like, beach ones over the on that side. And then maybe just some chairs where people can sit and admire. Admire the artistry. Uh-oh, I'm stuck in a corner. Stuck in a corner. And this is... Whenever I get stuck in a corner, it always reminds me to hit the save button. Cool idea, you could take pictures of much of important people like Todd Howard. <laughs> What's up, Ghost Hunter? You're you're almost in time for the end of the stream. It's gonna end in about 20 minutes. Um, if God willing, um, I say that. But yes, I am trying to finish up some things. Oh, we could put a little sailboat over here. Um, it was Ghost Hunter that had the idea for Touch Grass, which is where I came up with Touch of Grass for the um, weed dispensary. So thank you, Ghost Hunter, for the awesome idea. Um, and then I guess two smaller framed ones. Um, what else do we have hanging out here? This one's kind of cute. And we'll go with this one. So now it is a gallery. 
Um, but it also, I think, need. Whoopsie. <laughs> I still think needs a little more um, with regards to, se to seating wise. Um, so I'll definitely probably throw down some chairs there. Um, ghost hello or a suit of armor. You mean like power armor? It would be interesting to put power armor here. Um, right now while I'm thinking about it, let me try to find some rails. And then um, I will wrap up here very shortly just because I'm starting to get a gut feeling about my knock on wood internet. I just don't trust it for much longer. Um, Cat Deco, I think is the one that you told me, Ghost Hunter, or somebody told me to download. And it should have railings. And so hopefully, oh, nope, these aren't gonna fit these. Dang it. I was hoping I'd be able to find railings that would fit these steps. But alas, they do not work. I will have to keep searching. I wonder, could I do something like this and then each one? No, that's not gonna work either. I just wanna find some railings cause you know, these drunk slog people. Oh, like medieval armor. I don't have any medieval armor. But that is a really awesome idea. Um, I don't have anything like that. That could go there. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying to not get into too much at the moment, just because, like I said, I'll be wrapping it up soon, because, as usual, um, I don't like to leave the puppy in for too long. In his little crate. His little crate. Wasteland building, doors, walls, floors, roofs, stone fireplace, miscellaneous. I feel like they had railings in here. They did have railings. Those almost fit. I will try to work those in here somehow. They're not like the same exact angle, but they're close enough. It's really come a long way. I agree with you, it has. From an empty house to now a relatively furnished house. All right, even if it's one rail for now, at least there's a rail there. Let me put another one up here. I think this is where I ran into an issue, was that I couldn't get them to fit right going all the way up the stairs. But that is something that I can work on tomorrow, just kind of finagling to get them in the exact right spots. In my downtime that I have sometimes during the day. Yeah, see, it does look a little weird as you go up the stairs, but I'll figure it out. Um, can you change out the stairs with ones that match? The rail angle. I probably can. I'm back just quickly. An idea for that U-shaped area around the upstairs could be an art gallery. Okay, now I really am going. Um, Dwarf, you were beat by Sharon Muller, who decided to make it an art gallery. So Sharon already beat you to that idea, but thank you. And yes, I can possibly change out the stairs. Um, so that's something to think about as well. Okay, so let me see if there's any more slight touch-ups. Um... As usual, I'll do a quick tour of the place um, before I go, and then I think I'm going to be ending the stream um, just because, one, the internet has held out for a very long time, and I'm happy about that, and then, two, it is time to feed the puppy. All right, so this is the entrance um, into the slog. You can enter in one of two ways. You can enter here, or you can enter through the front door of the mansion, which I like to think that they don't really use that door that often. Um, you come inside, we've got a guard shack, which occasionally will have a guard here. 
um, whenever they want to. Um, this guy hangs out in here, and the reason that he is just constantly working on that giddy up buddy cup, buttercup, buddy cup, <laughs> um, buttercup, is Let's because see. he's inhaling all the fumes from the um, mushrooms. So that's that's what he's got going on in there. Um, I'm pretending that this computer runs their water. Somehow that's how they get all their water. And the workstation I'm just leaving there. So that's really what's going on in the greenhouse. Um, then you come in, you've got Slocum's Joe, which I've kind of shown everyone already. You've got the consignment shop and somebody working there. And we have uppers, which I've shown several times, and I'll do a full walkthrough. Um, we've got the liquor store, the distillery, um, the farm, and then the dispensary. And we have my attempt at a hot tub, I like to call it. Um, this is the best I could do. Like I said, a couch filled with water. Um, we've got our little pen over here for our Brahmin. And we've got a little area where they grow their actual food um, because they can't just survive on weed. And then I'll go in and do a quick tour of the house and then wrap up. So living room, I still have to fix the mod that has this table. So just pretend there's a table there. Um, there's a mod that I'm missing on my desktop that I have on my PC. So, um, this here is the living room. We've got bedroom number one, um, bathroom, doop, doop, doop. bedroom number two, laundry room, uh, kitchen, I'm sorry, dining area, kitchen area, and then the bedrooms upstairs, which I'll go through real quickly. So bedroom number whatever, four, five, uh, six, ish that lady's still chilling there uh seven eight nine i think and then to finish up i guess next stream i will do the upstairs um and yeah so I think they look pretty lived in. I'm pretty satisfied. The only thing I don't like are the purple curtains, but I'm leaving them, so it's too late now. Um, so yeah, that's what the slog has going on. And this is the gallery. Great idea, Sharon. Thank you. And then I'll put some seats around for people to look at the, the gallery and watch from. Um, uh, it's the best hot tub I've ever saw. <laughs> I'm glad that y'all think the... Um, Time to go play. Have a great evening, night, night, puppy. Um, have fun, Sharon. Enjoy playing. Um, and then our view of outside with the trees that I put up. And that's going to wrap up for the stream. Or you can install pocket doors if they aren't you. If they annoy you. I'm looking to see if the stream dropped. Okay, no, it didn't. Okay. It, it paused for a second. It was making me worried. Um, I'm looking to see what this says. It can install pocket doors if they annoy you. I don't know what pocket doors are. But easy fallout. Let me know um, in the Discord if you're on Discord at all. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up the stream for the evening. And that is the slog. Um, the upgraded and updated slog. And lastly, I will finish upstairs. I will try to work on that tomorrow. Um, and I probably am going to stream New Vegas tomorrow. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining, Easy Fallout. Thank you for saying you appreciate the stream. I appreciate everyone that stops by and watches and hangs out. I hope that y'all get some inspiration or some ideas. Um, yeah. So that's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then quit, and we will go from there. But thank you so much, everybody. Once again, I really appreciate it. And we will end on a note of looking at the pretty trees. Um, so once again, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click the like button. Please feel free to subscribe. Um, you will see more content from me where I create things and decorate them. And then share them on the YouTubes. So thanks, everyone, for stopping by and hanging out. Have a good one. Good night. See you later.